This video is going to be my complete Star Wars room tour for 2022. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher. Welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel, I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so a lot of you guys have been requesting this video over and over again, so finally getting around to doing my very first Star Wars room tour, so without further ado, let's jump into the tour. Alright, so here we are at the entrance to my Star Wars collection room and on the door I just have this this metal Wampa warning sign tacked to the door. Um, I got this in the the Star Wars Galaxy box, the Hoth themed Star Wars Galaxy box from Culturefly. I did a review on that a while back. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll put cards up here for anything that I mention in this video. Um, any any videos that I mention, I'll leave playlists and everything down in the description. But without further ado, let's enter the Star Wars collection room. Alrighty, so we will start from the entrance here. So if we turn around on the one wall, I have some framed posters by the entrance here, by the door. Um, so I have this one poster. It is the Attack of the Clones soundtrack poster. Um, sorry about the glare on this one. I have the lights on here, so kind of, kind of getting quite a bit of a glare because of the glass on the frame. But yeah, no, this is uh, this is one I've had for a while now. I just got it framed this year and got it up on the wall this year. So really excited about that. So yeah, that's the Attack of the Clones um, soundtrack poster, and I think I I think I got this one when my dad worked at I believe he worked at A and B Sound here in Canada. If uh, if any Canadians watching know what that is, leave a leave a comment down in the the comments down below. Um, and then just below that poster, I have a poster from Solo. A Star Wars story and that one came from the Disney Rewards website so um, the wife and I had a bunch of uh, Disney Rewards um, and we picked up three posters or my wife bought used the points and got me three posters so this is the first of the three posters so that's the one from uh, Solo, A Star Wars Story. Um, just above the door frame here, I have a couple of uh, canvas prints. Uh, these were just from Walmart, but they look really cool. So you got the uh, the, Re the Rebel Pilot and the Stormtrooper helmet. Um, these were from Walmart. These were from my brother for a uh, Christmas gift, uh, probably about four years ago, three years ago or something like that. So I've got these hung up on the wall above my door. Um, just below that, mounted to the door, I have a couple of other canvas paintings there. Um, these are both these are both by a guy over in uh, in Winnipeg, Canada. Um, he does a lot of these spray art um, canvases like this. So my wife got these both for me for Christmas this year. This past year, Christmas 2021. Um, they're both done by a guy, like I mentioned, in, in Winnipeg, Canada. His name, he goes by, uh, I think, Art by Rob or Spray Art by Rob, I think. Uh, like I mentioned, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check that out as well. 
And then moving on to the right of the door, I have a couple more posters from the, the Disney Rewards store or website. These came with, uh, with the solo poster. So I got the Last Jedi poster, which looks absolutely fantastic. Last Jedi was my favorite movie of the sequel trilogy. You can hate me for it, but it was it was my favorite of the, the sequel trilogy, and the poster is just beautiful for that. And then just below that poster, I have the, the Bad Batch poster, which again also is from the, the Disney Rewards website. So those were the three posters that I got, or that my wife got with her uh, Disney Rewards points. So some really nice artwork in the, the collection room here. Um, moving on, we have this, I have three um, Billy bookcases with glass doors on them, on the one wall. I have the uh, a D12 in the corner there, and then some more artwork, so I'll just kind of go shelf by shelf. We'll start with the top of the shelf along the top there. So along the top, I have the Millennium Falcon. It's the, the Play School Star Wars play set. Um, the, that, that, one, that one was one of the first original Star Wars play sets uh, from, from preschool, like for, for younger children. I think they changed it to um, like Galaxy Heroes or something like that later on, but this was like the the, the first one that came out, and I, ha I have a few other sets packed away. I don't have the space to display them. Um, just in front of that, I have a uh, Darth Tater Mr. Potato Head, which my wife got me a while back, probably, I don't know, must have been like 10 years ago or so. Um, then I got the Jedi, Star Wars Jedi Challenges, the, uh, from Lenovo. That's the, uh, the VR headset game. Um, really cool. Played it a few times. I really should play it again. Um, but, you know, it comes with a lightsaber and everything. And above that is just a, uh, Star Wars puzzle, which I included in my Christmas haul. Um... If you guys don't remember, it's of the, uh, that poster right there. So that just kind of sits up there for now. Got to find some time to build that. And then right next to that, I have some Funko Pops. So I have my, my 10 inch Babu Frick, my 10 inch, the child. And then I have the, uh, the five Christmas Star Wars Funko Pops from, I think it was like three years ago or something like that. So we got R2-D2, C-3PO, Yoda, Chewbacca, and Darth Vader. And then right next to that, I have some of my 12-inch Star Wars figures. These are like the ones that are more like, um, like dolls, I guess. So we got, I got Director Krennic. There, I got Mace Windu, IG-88. Um, this one that has nothing on the side, that's Darth Maul. I have the Luke in the Stormtrooper gear uh, while he was in the uh, trash compactor, so that one's a really neat one. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi with the, uh, the training helmet. And then I think that is, who is that? That's Frigrin, oh, Bark, Barkwin Dan, one of the cantina band members and we got the electronic Darth Vader he makes makes different noises and phrases and stuff and then next to that I have my BB-8 waffle maker um haven't used it sits in the box up there um I always found it kind of weird that they they put it in Rogue One packaging as you can see but it is a BB-8 waffle maker and then just in front of all that I have uh two prototype Boba Fett 
uh, bobbleheads. One's a Funko Pop, one is one of the Wobblers. So they just kind of sit up there. Um, next to that, I have on top of my D12 cabinet, I have the, uh, the, the Darth Vader. I think he's what, like two, two feet tall, I think, or something like that. I can't remember the, the exact height, but he sits up there. He's quite tall. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say like two feet, two and a half feet or something like that. I can't remember exactly how tall he is, but he sits up there and then just beside him is the Grogu Monopoly that I got for Christmas from my wife, um, a Darth Vader, the Chrome Darth Vader, Funko Pop, that's the uh, Smuggler's Bounty Funko Pop, and then it, uh, with that sits the um, smug. I think he's, that's also a Smuggler's Bounty, that's the um, Dagobah, I can't remember the name of it, but the, oh, the Dagobah Face-Off, I think that one's called Funko Pop there. And then just on the wall, I got a couple of couple more posters that are framed. These are ones that I got when I went to the premieres of the movies. So I got Solo, Star Wars Story there. And then just to the right of that on the other wall, I have the, the Rise of Skywalker. Both really beautiful posters. Um, moving back to the Billy bookcase here. We'll start with the one bookcase, get the doors open, and we'll just go shelf by shelf here. So on the first, the top shelf of my first bookcase is where I keep all my, or the majority of my Star Wars movies, the Star Wars media, um, video games, uh, soundtracks, stuff like that. This is where the majority of them sit. Um, so I got... Star Wars soundtracks um, and CD-ROM video games, computer games there. Um, so these are all my DVDs and Blu-rays on this shelf. So starting with the prequels, this was a uh, special edition DVD set that I ordered off of eBay years ago before the um, before they even released them on DVD. And then DVD. Different, different versions of the DVDs, moving into Blu-ray, Family Guy Blu-ray, the Star Wars Family Guy Blu-ray, um, different copies of the Blu-ray movies, and then of course I got the uh, the Steelbook, the Steelbook uh, versions of all the, the movies as well in the corner there, and then just above that I have a couple of PS4 video games, and a few decks of cards, um, yeah, I kind of, a few decks of cards up there, so I, I kind of keep everything, I try and keep everything organized, it's it's very much like organized chaos, I guess, but I, I like how stuff looks in here, um, also got like the Darth Vader glass that came in the, I think that was a Sith themed galaxy box from Culture Fly, and then these are um, Han Solo's dice, which I got from jewelry brands i think it was part of a uh, contest that um the uh, uh who was it it was a contest somebody was doing i can't remember who did it um oh the resistance broadcast that's who it was who who did a contest on their instagram i think it was so got that and jewelry brand made jewelry brands made that so they're they're really cool they're they just sit there. And then in front of all my my DVDs and Blu-rays, I have my mystery minis that I have. And then my final missions. And my dorbs. So they kind of just sit in front of the movies. Moving down to the next shelf, uh, the next shelf down in the first bookcase, I have some more of my Star Wars movies here. So these are all the uh, the VHS copies. So I got the uh, Deluxe Episode 1. Then the regular version of Episode 1. I don't have an Episode 2 copy on VHS yet, which I should get at some point. Um, 
moving into original trilogy. So I believe this was one of the earliest releases. You got the box set. Um, still sealed that set there. A couple of uh, special edition box sets. So you got the gold um, standard format and the silver widescreen. And then another version of the Star Wars trilogy there. Um, they got this really awesome Wampa with Luke in the Ice Cave Snow Globe, which uh, my wife got me one year for Christmas. That's really awesome. Um, just behind that, I have some decks of cards here. So these are the ones from Theory 11. These are my sealed ones. I have, uh, I have an extra copy of each deck, which I opened and did a review on um, last month, I think it was. Uh, then I have Black Series... Grogu or Black Series of Child there. Like I said, organized chaos. You can't really see everything. And just behind Grogu, I think I have a couple more decks of cards there. Um, on top of the movies, I've got a... This is a mini poster book, which I also got for Christmas from my wife this past year. Um, I got the the pin from the opening night of Rise of Skywalker. So a little, little bit of everything on my shelves here. Um, 3D glasses from The Force Awakens. A couple more decks of cards and tins over here. Uh, these six are coins. So these are... Uh, we can get it out here. So these are coins from the uh, the Force Awakens. So there's uh, there's six different ones. There's there's Kylo Ren. There's Poe, Phasma. There's Finn, um, Ray, and I think one other one. Yeah, Kylo, Kylo, Phasma, Ray, Poe, Finn, and yeah, I'm missing one. I can't remember what the other one is, but there's six of them, and they all look really, really nice. So those are gifts from my wife as well. Um, and then I have my Star Wars Hot Wheels collection, the ones that I have opened up so far. So these are my Star Wars character cars, Star Wars Starship line, all in front there. So that's where I keep those. Moving on to the next shelf down, I have... Uh, more organized chaos. Um, I like how the my shelves look, um, but I have the the four cups and cup toppers there. The R two Queen Amidala, Boss Nass, and Captain Tarpos. Those are the uh, those are the cups and cup toppers from KFC from the release of Star Wars Episode One. Um, in behind R two and Queen Amidala is the the Star Wars soundtrack on vinyl, which I'm not going to attempt to pull out right now. Um, this is a this was a cake topper from one of my birthday cakes my wife got me. Pretty simple, looks really cool, but you know you push the button on the top and it lights up there. So I thought it looked pretty cool. So that just kind of sits sits up top there. Um, I got my vintage vintage Ewok. Piggy Bank, the uh, Rancor Funko Pop. This was from the three pack with uh, Rancor, um, Luke Skywalker, and I think uh, the other the other the Twilight Dancer there. Um, this little Grogu I got at a farmer's market out here um, a few, couple years back. So it's made out of like um, what do you call it? Like clay, I guess, and they they you know sculpt it and heat it up and paint it so I got that from uh, a farmer's market here locally this is the uh the black series Jar Jar Binks um a Darth Vader Funko Pop medallion the BB-8 remote control from Sphero um the the flocked Hot Topic exclusive Wampa um Kylo Ren bobblehead 
And then the Count Dooku uh, Star Wars Unleashed line. That was a great line. I uh, definitely want to get some more of those. I have three figures from that lineup right now, which you'll see in this video as well. Um, and then moving down to the next shelf, I've got the uh, Galactic Snack and Grogu right there, which I did. You saw in my uh, haul video a couple months back, I think it was. Um, next to him, I got the Lego Stormtrooper. Um, some more Star Wars bobbleheads. These ones are the Wobbler ones, or Wacky Wobblers, I think they're called. And I really like the style of them. I like the uh, the bases, how they, they're thinner and they have their, their names on them. Um, I did do a comparison video on the Chewbacca Funko Pop compared to this guy here. So I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. Um, some more kind of, I think they're 12 inch figures. Chewbacca, Phasma, and Enfys Nest. The Darth Vader in the Meditation Chamber. Funko Pop, really awesome Funko Pop. And then in behind everything on this shelf, I have the uh, the widescreen version of the trilogy, the original trilogy here. That's the uh, that's a widescreen version of of this guy right here. So that's that. And then I also have a uh, laser disc copy of the original trilogy special edition, just in behind these guys here. Um, moving on to the the next shelf down. Um, this is where I have my popcorn buckets from the movies. So the two on the right from The Rise of Skywalker. The two on the left from The Force Awakens. Um, inside the one bucket, I have my blanket that came with the Sith Lord. Um, the Sith Galaxy box from Culture Fly there. Uh, I've got a couple cans of Campbell's, um, what do you call them? SpaghettiOs or whatever you want to call them. And a couple cans of Campbell's Soup, Star Wars themed, of course. Uh, a couple, a few candy dispensers. I got R2-D2, Darth Vader, and the Clone Trooper. And then I got a couple of, uh, these are meant to go on your car. Are you sure this thing is safe? And that one's, I think the batteries are dead. But yeah, no, they come with Velcro on the bottom. You can put them on your, your dash. They're, they're supposed to be dash ornaments, I believe. Oh, actually, this one's not even on. Is it? Okay, so I guess the battery's dead on Yoda. But, you know, they make noises and stuff. So that's where I keep those. Moving on to the next shelf down, the last shelf in this bookcase. Um, I have all my magazines and my comic books and graphic novels. So this side is my graphic novels and comic books um, with a couple of Star Wars notepads. I have I have this guy open on my desk as well. Next to that I have the some Star Wars craft dinner. Uh, four boxes. I think there's Yoda, R2, and 3PO. So I have those sitting there along with some movie theater cups from uh, the Disney era movie th movies that came out and then in behind those I have some subway cups from The Force Awakens big stack of those so that's where I keep all all my plastic cups and then uh, these are all my Star Wars magazines that I have here and then on top of that I just I usually just keep my um, my Star Wars lithographs which I have, you know, one for each release of the movies on blue or yeah, on Blu-ray. The Rise of Skywalker. Solo. The Last Jedi. Rogue One, 
and of course the Force Awakens. So yeah, now I keep all my lithographs and pictures on top of my magazines there. So that's where they sit, just on top of the magazines and cups. So that does it for, for that shelf there. So moving into the next Billy bookcase here, opening the doors. Starting on the top shelf, I have a collection of, this is where I keep all my ceramic coffee mugs, ceramic dishes and stuff like that. So on the top, top there, I have a, a Kylo Ren one, C-3PO, Chewbacca, R2-D2, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, C-3PO in the back again, Darth Maul and a Porg. And then sprinkled amongst those, I have my Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures figures. So I got Darth Vader, Rey, Kylo Ren, Darth Maul, C-3PO and Han and Chewie. So those are my Galaxy of Adventures figures and some of my ceramic cups. Um, the Galaxy of Adventures figures, I've done reviews on all of those. I love the styling of them. I, I hope to get more of them. There's missing, missing a few of them, missing actually a bunch of them. So I, I'm hoping to complete that collection at some point. Moving down to the next shelf, some more ceramic Star Wars cups. Um, I got Ara Singh Black Series figure there. Behind that, I have a uh, Star Wars watch that my brother got me for Christmas one year. Um, a Darth Vader birthday cake candle, which amazingly is still in good shape. This here is a another Star Wars watch. This is a Boba Fett Star Wars watch. Um, if I can get the tin open. So that's a Boba Fett Star Wars watch. Um, if you guys don't know already, Boba Fett is one of my favorite characters from the Star Wars movies. Um, yeah, some random Star Wars ceramic cups. So Han Solo, that one's a favorite of mine. Um, I got these ceramic porgs from my wife for Christmas. Um, I can't remember if it was this year or last year. I believe it was this year. Um, no, it was last year. Last year I got those. Then I got a uh, BB-8 USB drive. So you, the bottom slides out, you turn his head, the bottom comes out and you plug it into your computer. Then I got the Bo-Katan Black Series figure there. Moving on down, I have some more ceramic cups and glasses. Um, front and center, those four are the original glasses from Burger King when Star Wars A New Hope came out. Um, the Wrecker, Star Wars ceramic cup, uh, another set back there. The Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary glass set back there still in the box and I have some of my Star Wars Mission Fleet figures so Darth Maul the battle droid Kylo Ren with it with which his ship is like on top of my other D12 cabinets which you'll see in a minute um, a couple of uh, Disney store Christmas ornaments these are duplicates so I figured I'd put them on the shelf and then I got Darth Vader and Boba Fett Mission Fleet figures there. Um, on to the next shelf. I have some more cup toppers and cups. So what I did, I went Naboo, which was KFC. I went Tatooine, which was uh, Taco Bell. And then Coruscant, which was Pizza Hut. So I kind of tried to keep, for the most part, stuff that had to do with those planets in these cabinets. I tried to, for the most part, so I think I did a better job with this one than the others. Um, so in behind the cup toppers, cups and cup toppers, are some Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace lithographs done by Doug Chang. Um, those are really awesome, really nice, coming in a nice metallic 
case there. Got the K2SO Black Series figure in the back. Got the Tuscan Raider on the, the Bantha Dorbs. Um, the Yoda. This is, I think, the second variant of the Yoda Mighty Mugs. I think the first ones, I'll show you what they look like, but this is the, the second um, style. So these ones have the spinning face. You push it down. Got the Tatooine um, with Luke Skywalker. There's a figure in there. Um, if you pop that open, Let's see if we can do this with one hand. So Luke Skywalker sits on the, uh, the skiff in there, and that just closes up nicely. There are some other ones from this lineup that I want to get. There's a Darth Vader on the Death Star. There's a um, Yoda Dagobah one. And I think that's it from that lineup. I think there were just the three. Um, next to that, I got the uh, Luke Skywalker in the Landspeeder Dorbs. The Tusken Raider Black Series figure. The uh, Training Remote clock the darth vader or sorry darth maul on the sith speeder hot wheels vehicle and the mandalorian with grogu on the bantha which is a really awesome one of my favorite funko pops in the collection so that does it for that shelf uh moving one shelf down i have some of my larger items so i have the um that's a 12 inch c3po figure back there it comes with a uh a book as well and they had a couple of these i think they had the uh the darth vader and i think there i think there was an aura sing one as well in front of that i have the uh obi-wan kenobi darth maul and qui-gon jinn they're i think they're like 12 inch or 18 inch statue kind of things you can put batteries in them and the, their lightsabers will light up um, in front of that, I have the, uh, one of the, the Grogu's from the second wave of the Bounty Collection. Uh, a Pip Droid clock, which came with a, uh, a Jar Jar Binks, which you'll see in a moment. A Death Star Bluetooth speaker. A Dio cup. A BB-8 clock. A Han Solo and Carbonite piggy bank and a Jawa piggy bank. And then the last shelf in this bookcase is where I keep all of my my stuffies. So I've got um oh and I've got my Yoda with the training. You know, you turn him on, he does a bunch of training, he talks to you, he interacts with you. Then I got a bunch of my stuffies here. This is the Jar Jar I was talking about. He, he if you put batteries in him, he, he says all different lines and stuff from the movie. Um, I got a Build-A-Bear Darth Vader from my sister-in-law. Um, yeah, quite a bit of Star Wars stuffies. Um, the Tauntaun Itty Bitty with the Luke inside. That's a, a favorite of mine for sure. Moving on to the last Billy bookcase here. So on the top shelf, I have my two BB unit droids from the Disney store. So I got BB, what's his name? BB9E or BBE9 or whatever his name is in that corner. And then I have the BB8 in this corner. I got a 3.75 inch Black Series Kylo Ren figure, still boxed, a, uh, a Yoda bobblehead, um, I believe he's made by Funko as well, Funko had a few different, a few different uh, brands of bobbleheads that they released, 
Um, I've got the Scout Trooper mission fleet figure from the Mandalorian, a Darth Maul. This is just like a plastic storage container from the Phantom Menace. I think it's made by Applause. So his head comes off, you can store whatever in there. Um, then a Grand Admiral Thrawn Black Series figure. A Funko Boba Fett luggage tag. And then a few random Black Series figures here. You got the uh, RC-1138 Boss. I think this was a Gaming's great, Gaming Greats um, Jet Trooper, I think. And then the... Um, the Death Trooper from Rogue One. Moving down, I have some more random stuff here. Um, I've got the Grogu. This is like the first Star Wars, uh, first uh, Grogu stuffy that came out from Mattel. Uh, some more ceramic cups. Some of which are from uh, the Galaxy boxes from Culturefly. Others that are from just random pickups that I did. Um, this is a Commander Cody piggy bank. A Death Trooper piggy bank. A little Millennium Falcon. Hot Wheels, I think this was. Um, this is a Reek from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. And I think his, the batteries in him. His belly makes noise. You push the belly in and it makes noise, I think. Did I take the batteries out? There we go. So yeah, so that's from episode two. This is uh, part of the 3.75 inch line. So he sits there. Um, and behind him, this is a Chewbacca. This is one I got off of. Uh, that's one I got off of uh, Marketplace, fake Facebook Marketplace. Um, it used to have like a light inside the bottom. Now he just kind of sits on on my shelf as a decor. I think I might pay like a couple bucks for him or something. Um, Mandalorian tote bag from the Mandalorian themed uh, galaxy box from Culture Fly. Grogu using the Force. Um, paperclip organizer. A executioner. Popcorn bucket, I think. Popcorn storage bucket. And then a vintage Darth Vader. I think this guy's a piggy bank. Yep. So that concludes that shelf there. Moving on down, like I mentioned, the, the Coruscant Pizza Hut cups and cup toppers. So I got Jar Jar, Newt Gunray, Mace Windu, and Yoda. I got a little 12 inch Django Fett. This is kind of like a generic one. This wasn't one of the dolls. So you can take his mask off. That's really cool. A um, couple Burger King toys here. You got the Darth Vader. Mace Windu. Um, the Padme Unleashed figure. Which again, love that line. Don't know why they got rid of it. Want to collect more of them. Um, this was a Diamond Select figure. Darth Maul. I did a review on that a while back. Um, a BB-8 egg timer, which is really cool. Um, the Ezra Black Series figure. A Han and Carbonite um, phone stand is what that is. You got a napkin holder, and I believe I put my, I think it's a bandana inside that. Those were both from couple of the Culture Fly Galaxy boxes that I did reviews on. Um, a remote control R2-D2. Um, this is just a wooden box that my wife painted and she gave me for my birthday with some, uh, with the Bad Batch pins in them, which I don't think I showed you yet. No, they're on the next shelf down. So the pins, so we'll go down to the next shelf down. So this is, uh, some of my random Star Wars Funko Pops on this shelf here, so, and some more Star Wars glasses. And these Star Wars pins, these are from Pin Culture. Um, so these pins came, they didn't come on the board or the cardboard backing. 
we had to put them on ourselves. So the pins, my wife put those pins inside of that, um, that wooden box there and gave it to me for my birthday this past year. So that was a really cool gift. That's one of my favorite items in the collection for sure. Um, yeah, so then some ceramic glass sets and some random Star Wars Funko Pops. So I got Chewbacca on the ATST, uh, Grogu on the Seeing Stone, Leia on the speeder bike, Grogu with the egg canister, Leia from the, the Hoth, the Echo Base, Luke on the Tauntaun, and the uh, Stormtroopers on the speeders. So that's, that's that shelf there. Moving on down to the next shelf, um, I have three lunch kits from Culturefly. I did reviews on those as well. Um, those have miscellaneous Star Wars collectibles that have to do with each of the movies. Then I have uh, my four transforming micro machine heads. So they all transform into like a little play set with micro machines in them. And then I have my Mace Windu Star Wars Unleashed figure. Um, this one's probably my favorite one. I like the pose on him. He looks really awesome. And then moving on to the last shelf of my Billy bookcases, I have all of my Star Wars books, um, random cookbooks, um, you know, visual guides, stuff like that, uh, collectible price guides. So these are all my books. And then some vintage Kenner stuffies. So we got R2-D2, we got Max Rebo, Barquin Dan, the Wampa, Chewbacca, and Wicket. So those are my Billy bookcases. So moving on to my first Detolf cabinet in the collection room here. Um, open that up so we don't get the glare. So on the first shelf I have a few Star Wars tins or lunch boxes. Um, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, The Empire Strikes Back, and The Millennium Falcon. Um, I have a couple of Star Wars snow speeders from the Hoth themed Galaxy box from Culture Fly again. Um, an Obi Wan Kenobi vinyl figure. Got that a while ago, quite a few years ago. Um, and then these two ships here, the Millennium Falcon and the Slave One, or Boba Fett's Starship. These are from the, um, like a, uh, a role-playing game, I think it is. Um, I can't remember which one it was. I thought it, I thought it was Star Wars Armada, but I might be mistaken. It might be from the Star Wars X-Wing game, so... They display really nicely. Moving on down to the next shelf of this Detolf cabinet, I have a couple of action figures with glasses. So I think there's five in this set because this was released before the Revenge of the Sith. So I got the Attack of the Clones with Anakin Skywalker. And just in behind these watches, there's a Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back. Got a Darth Maul bobblehead here, which again, I believe he's from Funko. Yeah, so that, that's made by Funko there as well. So like I mentioned, Funko had a few different properties that made bobbleheads. They had the, the Funko Pops, the Wacky Wobblers, and then this style here as well. Um, Kylo Ren and the Sith, or the, the TIE Whisper Funko Pop. Uh, three of the three of the watches that came in the tins from Burger King, so I got to get the other three. Uh, a Darth Maul vinyl figure back there. Lightsaber glows in the dark, and then again, the Emperor Palpatine uh, light LED light, so that lights up. That also came in the Sith themed galaxy box. Moving a shelf down. Um, so I got the Luke's Landspeeder Hot Wheels car in packaging there. 
Um, this is a Darth Vader stamp to stamp paper with. Um, these were for the 25th anniversary of Star Wars. So we got three scenes. We got the Luke and Leia, Obi-Wan and Vader, Han and Chewie. And then I got a couple of ceramic glasses, the TIE Fighter Pilot and the TIE Fighter Funko Pop. And then both of these stacks are, are coasters that my dad made on his engraver and gave them to me for Christmas this year. So those are really cool. If you, if you want to see those, they're in my Star Wars haul video for December 2021. Um, and then the last shelf down, this one's kind of mostly episode one inspired. So I got the, the film, the movie memorabilia book that they gave out to people who went and watched the movie in theaters. This was the, the sneak peek um, battle droid on the step. The sneak peek Mace Windu, as you can see, he's got the blue lightsaber there. Um, the Sith infiltrator, Darth Maul Sith infiltrator uh, remote control. And then a Anakin Skywalker um, tin that's made to look like the, the episode one pop cans. And inside there, I got a bunch of little random items. So a bunch of random Star Wars items in there. Not gonna go through that right now. Might do that in another video if there's some interest. Next we have the main area of my Star Wars collection room. This is kind of where the magic happens, I guess. This is where I film all my videos. So I have uh, that Revenge of the Sith poster in the corner there, or not Revenge of the Sith, um, Rise of Skywalker movie poster in the corner there. Um, I got my vintage Star Wars curtains up in my Star Wars collection room. Up above that, I have my Darth Maul double-bladed lightsaber. It does light up. It still has, it makes sounds. Um, it's not the Black Series one. It's the, uh, it's a plastic one. I want to say the FX lightsaber or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Um, got that quite a few years ago for Christmas one year for my wife. But yeah, this, this is my standing desk. This is where all the magic happens. This is where I film my videos. So I got my two, my two lights, uh, my microphone and phone stand mounted to that. The Boba Fett and Fennec Shand on the throne. Funko Pop did a did a review on that just recently. A acrylic Star Wars light, so that lights up. Um, and then that Star Wars notepad again, so the C three PO pops out of there, and it's a notepad. So I keep that on my desk. And then these are some ceramic coasters my wife made so there's two like this and two like this one here so i keep those on my my desk and use those um, my wireless charger for my phone and then just some random stuff i use for when i'm filming my pen my my box cutter and then just uh just below my desk here is kind of like my staging area so i've got um Got my paper cutter here for throwing stuff out. Um, all this stuff here is stuff I have yet to review. So I've got the uh, the Star Wars Hot Wheels cars that I included in my last haul. The uh, 212th Battalion Clone Trooper. I'd like to get around to reviewing that. Um, that might wait a bit though, depending on how much stuff I get in my next month's haul. Um, yeah, the Porg I got for Christmas. The uh, the and autumn or the the grogu that i got for christmas uh some random funko pops down here so the bottom two here the cad bane sorry the cad bane and the mando uh, those are just extra ones i have of those two 
I might end up doing a, a giveaway for those at one point or another. Um, the Han and the, the Luke, they're going to be part of a, uh, a custom project I'm going to do. So I have one Stormtrooper. I'm going to uh, gonna have to get another Stormtrooper, but I'm going to do a head swap on those to make my, um, my Luke in Stormtrooper gear and my Han Solo in Stormtrooper gear. So that's what those are. Moving to this side of the room, I have a, uh, this is another spray art, uh, spray art work, uh, spray art artwork piece from, uh, that I picked up in Vegas back in like, I think it was 2014, I think. So that's really awesome. That was one of those spray artists that you see uh, just off the Las Vegas Strip. You know, I think I got this one down on Fremont Street. Um, those, uh, got a little pile of stuff I'd still have to organize and find room for. So um, the three U-Haul boxes there, those are just some Star Wars Christmas ornaments. I have... Um, the rest of my Star Wars preschool figures still in the, the packaging um, and then some other Star Wars items that don't fit in any cases right now, any display cases. Um, this box here though, just to entice you guys, this stuff is full of some random Star Wars collectibles that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for when I reach 500 subscribers. So. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's uh, let's get to 500 subscribers and we can give that away. Um, just on the floor here, um, I have a bag of Star Wars Hot Wheels cars that I have yet to open up and display. Uh, I'll probably end up doing a review on some of those, probably not all of them. Again, this is a another Star Wars Christmas item. That's the uh, Death Star. The Death Star Tree Topper, this one. So that's a Death Star Tree Topper that I got for Christmas. Um, and then some of my Mighty Mugs. I got four of them so far. So these are the uh, the first version before they switch to the ones with the, the rotating heads. So I got Darth Maul. I have Lando Calrissian, Princess Leia, and then Admiral Akbar. And again, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do reviews on them. I'll probably just open them up. Maybe I'll do a video on Instagram. But moving on to what a lot of people have asked to see for quite some time now. My Star Wars Funko Pop collection. So I have four D12 cases full of Star Wars Funko Pops. Um, I made these, these risers for my Funko Pops, um, just out of like foam board and I can fit five across as you'll see here. I can fit five across for the most part, except when it comes to the, uh, the Grogu Funko Pops just because of his ears, but let's start at the top there. So, yeah, I have the four D12 cabinets right now, which I have stuff on top of right now displayed. Uh, eventually, I'm, I think I'm going to get two more D12 cabinets for right over here so I can extend some of my Funko Pops and put some other collectibles in it. But going back to on top of the D12 cases, I have all of my Elite Series figures. These are the, uh, the die cast figures from the Disney store. So I got a bunch of them. They go like two or three rows back there. As you can see, they go two or th two or three rows back of figures. So I do need a better way of displaying them, but for now they look okay. I have my, my favorite ones in front. You know, I got the taller ones, Snoke and 
Chewbacca on either end, and then some of my favorites in between. So K2SO, R5D4, R2D2, C3PO, Grievous, which is just an awesome one, uh, Vader, Kylo Ren, the Executioner, and the Death Trooper. Um, on top of those, I have the uh, four of the Star Wars candy dish holders. So I got the Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, Yoda, and the Jawa. Um, still need to get the, the Ewok, Wicked the Ewok, and uh, I think they got a Darth Maul one as well. And then just in front of those Elite figures, Elite series figures, I got the uh, the Tie Whisperer that came with the Kylo Ren Mission Fleet figure. The Bounty Hunter Collection Funko Pops. Just missing that Vader now on this end. So actually just uh, at the time of filming this video, I just got a call saying that that Vader is in. So that'll be part of my my Star Wars haul for April. Got the, uh, can't remember what that one's called. Um, but from The Last Jedi, it's a movie moment. And then these two movie moments here as well. Can't remember the name of them. Um, and then this is the Darth Vader TIE Advanced that came with the uh, Mission Fleet Darth Vader. Then on to my Funko Pop collection, which I'll do case by case. So a lot of people display their Funko Pops in boxes. A lot of them display them. They have, you know, everyone has their different way of displaying their Funko Pops. I put my Funko Pops in order of how they show up in the timeline, in the movies, where they, they are seen in the movies, in the timeline. So starting with the the, uh, these guys here. So I got Revan, Darth Malak, uh, Bastilla Shan or Ballista Sh Bastilla Shan. They're from the, uh, the Knights of the Old Republic, which happened many years before the prequels. So I started with those, moved into episode one, Funko Pops here, uh, where episode one ends here. Moved into the Clone Wars Funko Pops. Got all my Clone Wars Funko Pops. Clone Wars era Funko Pops. And then moving into Revenge of the Sith with uh, Tarful there. Um, this Yoda is actually a gaming greats Yoda. But that's I imagine him looking like that in Revenge of the Sith. So I put him there. I, th I think he fits in there pretty good. Moving into the Bad Batch. And Solo. And then slowly moving into Rogue One here. So the end of my Solo. Um, I got one Rebels pop so far, Kanan Jars. Oh, and the Super Commando. And then moving into Rogue One Funko Pops. And right now they're all, they're all four across. But I can, I can fit five across, as you can see from this one here, these two rows here. I can fit five across. So I do have room to expand a bit. Moving into the, the second display case, the second D12, continuing on with Rogue One. Moving into A New Hope. Uh, this Vader here is a Rogue One Star Wars Funko Pop, but I, I, I feel like he fits better with the... Uh, a New Hope Funko Pops there, so I put them down there. Uh, a New Hope, some more A New Hope Funko Pops. Moving into the Empire Strikes Back now. Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. Here are the uh, the Twilight Dancer and the uh, Luke Skywalker from that three pack with the uh, Rancor that I, I showed earlier. And more Return of the Jedi Funko Pops. This is the start of my third cabinet here, the third D12. So 
I have The Last of the Return of the Jedi Funko Pops, the three spirits right there, and then the next few are um, Gaming Greats figures, again, Gaming, Gaming Greats Funko Pops from, uh, what is it, Star Wars Fallen Order, and Battlefront, and Battlefront 2. So uh, they kind of took place after the original trilogy, so I put them right after the, the last, or the Return of the Jedi Funko Pops, so that's where those ones sit. So I got, um, um, I can't think of her name now. I did a review on her a little while ago. I got the uh, the Shadow Trooper, the Purge Trooper, Cal Kestis, and then moving into the Mandalorian. So as you see, this is where I have trouble with fitting five across. I can only fit four across with Grogu on the shelf with those big ears, but he still looks pretty awesome. Um, so more Mandalorian Funko Pops there. A few more down here. more Mandalorian Funko Pops at that Mandalorian right there the uh, the chrome one with the the dark saber my favorite Mandalorian Funko Pop now and moving into the sequel trilogy the force awakens moving into the last Detolf case with Funko Pops. Continuing on with the Force Awakens Funko Pops. Moving into The Last Jedi, starting with there with Paige Tico. More Last Jedi Funko Pops. More Last Jedi Funko Pops. And working our way into the Rise of Skywalker Funko Pops with Finn and Poe, BB-8, Rose. Still need to get two more of the uh, Knights of Ren. That does it for my Funko Pop cabinets next to my Funko Pop cabinets. Um, just just in the, tucked away in the corner, I got a couple of boxes. These boxes here have a, some more posters I need to hang up and get framed. Um, this one in particular with the open box there. That's the um, Book of Boba Fett poster made by Red 5 Designs. That one I won from uh, the Hollow Chronicles podcast a while back. Still need to get that framed. Moving on to the next wall here. Just to the side of my closet, there are some Star Wars Hot Wheels cars um, on their left side, left column right here. These are all themed after the Star Wars movies, each movie, one car. And then the ones beside those on the right hand side, those are... Uh, those are themed after each Star Wars planet, the main Star Wars planets. So that's what's kind of tucked away in the corner there. So in front of my closet, I have a couple of Star Wars standees, Star Wars cutouts, whatever you want to call them. So the first one is one that I picked up at a flea market quite a few years ago. Um, next to that, I got a Padme cutout. This is one I got on my first trip to uh, to Bellingham, Washington State, from Canada. Um, so I picked that up at Bellis Fair Mall in Bellingham. Um, just next to those, I have my Han and Carbonite mini fridge. Just move Padme out of the way here. So little mini fridge there 
if he was plugged in, Han would actually light up red at the front. Um, above that, I have the Star Wars tin with the, um, the original and prequel trilogy there. Uh, inside that tin, I have a bunch of random Star Wars collectibles. Um, I can I can go into that stuff in another video if there's some interest in that. Um, just a Star Wars storage box from The Force Awakens. Inside there, again, I have some more random Star Wars um, bits and bobs in there. Um, weapons for my Black Series figures. Um, this box I saved from the Star Wars Galaxy box from uh, the Hoth themed one from Culture Fly. Just as another storage box there. On my wall above my closet, I have this picture of Luke, Leia, Chewie, and Han, which, which has their autographs on it as well. This was a gift from my, my wife a couple years ago, uh, the Qui Gon Jinn. It was a display piece that hung in KFC when the, the Phantom Menace released. Um, on the other side here, I have the, the Boss Nass display piece that matched with it. In the middle, I have, uh, this is a vinyl deco that my wife cut out for Commander Wolf. Um, it's just on a uh, piece of glass in a picture frame, so that looks really cool. Nice display piece. And then just on a, along the side of the closet here are my three original trilogy movie poster replicas um they come they came from uh, bed bath and beyond all three of them are are on like a piece of wood there mounted to a piece of wood so we got star wars the empire strikes back and Revenge of the Sith. So that does it for my Star Wars collection room tour for 2022. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it, what's your, your favorite piece that you noticed, and uh, if there's anything you want me to go into detail in another video about, let me know also down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.